Hi everyone, Soulsor17 here. Let me first, like usual, I've known this picture, so now I'm paying video over it, okay? So, here's the thing. Uh, <sighs> I was busy all day, but as soon as I got back home, I just started watching the last three episodes of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. So, this did take me a while to figure out where I wanted to go with this. I talked to my friend about it, um... I asked about, you know, should he have, like, Karama? But not, like, be, you know, not have Karama, you know, like, any, like, he's basically with him. No, I mean, like, just, like, Karama's memories. Because I want to make this Naruto very intelligent, like, wise. Because it's going to be, like, I want to mash two, you know, two, basically, part, well, souls, you can say, together to make one new person, which is going to be technically... Naruto, or should I say Rumuru Tempest, because I don't think I should change the name. I think that's good. And just like for the last few episodes, only a little bit of changes here and there. But then around maybe, I don't know, five, basically like, when they get to Duranga, the city that they would go to, and they meet the dwarves, that's where some things will change, mostly. Um, the fight, though, with the Dire Wolves, I believe, only trains slightly, but that'll be it. So, and I, he basically told me, though, the Karam would just go back into the world. Um, Naruto was 13, basically, when he was basically pushed off the cliff with Jiraiya, so, in a sense, I did lift up, the Karama just gave him the chakra just so Naruto can live, so they won't die. So, in a sense... It would take a longer time. I mean, it would have basically mean Kurama and Naruto would die. So, basically, I told him, he was like, huh. But, yeah, anyways. I'm basically, though, you know, still doing that idea. It's just the fact is, I'm aging up the characters when they die into, like, more of, like, a 15 to 16 age. And then becoming Genin. But let's just say this, though. Sasuke Uchiha, you know, actually, I'll just get into the what if, so you know. Anyway, so this is what Naruto was reincarnated as a slime. Part 1. So, as we all know the story, the Nine Tails is sealed in Naruto, everyone hates him, people adore Sasuke, and, you know, they always basically give him everything he wants, and, well, let's just say this much. Everything that happens in canon would happen, but the thing is, around basically the curriculum of the actual academy changed right when they were about 11, so they only had one year. Basically, the Hokage basically looked at everything from the academy and he was furious with the council because they changed so much. So, what happened was fit simple. He basically closed the school. Closed the Ninja Academy, refixed everything, and let everyone go back in. But they had to be fifteen to sixteen years of age to have like to basically become you know the cal the class that was over about to graduate. They literally had to go back to the beginning, but the the proper way. And you know, so in a sense, I'm giving Naruto the chance to actually learn a lot more. You see, Aruka stayed the main teacher. Since Naruto was, well, worried about graduating, then I hear he has a couple more years until he's 15 to 16. So, Naruto actually starts to progress. His whole entire, how should I say this, his whole entire learning was jumped a notch, which surprised Aruka and everyone else. He, it wasn't over time. It was the fact that Aruka legit Kind of basically as like saw Naruto learning something and then like he's like I don't really get this like he was actually trying to read a book, but then Naruto was like you know took about another book and it was one hundred chakra control for you know for dummies, in which he saw Naruto read it from back from cover to back, you know, basically from first page all the way down to the second page I mean all the way down to the last page, and legit he started doing chakra control exercises. In which they even explain about having too much chakra, which kept even hinting at it, which Naruto realized and literally says, "Oh my God, I have way too much chakra." 
That's why I, c- I can never do a simple bunch in. In which Aruka found out, I mean, from that day too, it was like, uh. So basically, they tested it. And Naruto could do two, well, uh, one bunch in. One normal bunch in, and anything higher than, you know, and then basically, he kind of used that exact amount. He was able to make mudchins, like just regular clones that basically was be see through. In which Aruko just <clears throat> kind of realized, like, he goes like this <clears throat> Naruto, I only got one thing to say to you. He goes, Yeah, Aruko sensei, I'm sorry. I should have realized this and shouldn't have always told you to put more in. I should have at least tested this for you. He's like, <laughs> Well, at least now Hokage, I mean, uh, Gigi basically told us this, that you have to do that now. He goes, yeah, I know. Well, we're about to learn that anyways tomorrow, so just do your truck and control exercises, and then for I'll try and make some time one-on-one with you after school to help you more, all right? Which he goes, thanks, Aruka-sensei. And, you know, Naruto runs off, basically, which Aruka just sighs. we like, I almost let him to die. Which Mizuki was kind of pissed that, um, you know, no one, they were basically, he had to wait until so long. So he decided to say, he basically said, F it, I'm going to steal this forbidden scroll, and he got caught. They found, they basically found out he was working for and such, and blah, 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 blah. You know. Now, though, we skip to when Naruto is 15 to 16. You see, Sasuke Uchiha, ever since then, has been gaining a little bit more of a, how should I say this, He's been very close to nearly killing a couple of civilians. Which some civilians are like, you know, kind of shocked and worried. They don't understand why. Give me a minute. Okay, like I said, they don't understand why the great Uchiha Sasuke is doing all this. You see, just any little slight remark has been getting on Sasuke's nerves. He's basically failed. Like, he's basically been like this. He's been... Just being mad. He's going to get grades. But anyone who basically makes a slight remark. He just fights. And has not been known to us. I mean like anyone. Including the fangirls. Which. That brought down the fangirls. And they kind of realize he's a jerk. And basically men the Genin. Have already like made some names. So the Chunin exams. Um, they were literally. Po- basically they were like postponed. Like. Basically. He, Haruzen had to, like, wait it. He said he could not do this. He'll do it next year, he said. And he did a good, reasonable job for, like, Genin. Actually, did do a good thing. So, they only waited, like, maybe... Well, technically, there were 12 there about to turn 13. Or uh, 13, I mean. They only had to wait two more years, so... Basically... How should I say this? Haruzen did end up fixing some things because of... Naruto just asking him, and he's like, huh... Then why don't you at least try to talk to him about the problem? At least. He goes, huh? He goes, Gigi. I mean, if basically most of the daimyo, daimyo from the one country is uh, sending, well, money, well, basically missions to uh, to us, that does reason why, the, well, the Sand Village is, uh, will be mad at us in the future, right? And we're not hosting it, so, I mean, maybe they might, we'll try to plan an attack. He was like, uh, Naruto, when have you become so smart? He was like, well, after I kind of learned how to read a book, actually, and got interested into it, I started to read more. I mean, heck, I even started learn- learning something called seals? Well, I mean, first, it said I had to have very good penmanship, so I kind of sighed. I learned. I basically took up a book called calligraphy, what, what, writing or calligraphy, whatever you want to call it. I'm... I just kind of just, like, you know what? As long as it helps me can write, I don't care. So I was really determined to read through it, even though it was so boring, and my writing got better. Look, as basically Naruto shows him his penmanship, and Haruzen would just was nodding. He's like, excellent job, Naruto. So, are you still in the beginner stage of Seals? He's like, yep. <laughs> it's actually kind of amazing with them. I got so many ideas with it, too. So, basically, that's how Naruto's progression was. He was starting to become from the bottom to mid. And he literally did help out some people that were basically kind of, how should I say this, endangered. Even though the people were treating him the exact same way in canon. It's just the fact is, Naruto was helping out and didn't care what they even say at this point. 
And some people actually were grateful. Heck, one time he basically took an old lady that basically kept on saying, No, don't put me down. He's like, you basically hurt badly. We need to get you to the hospital. So he took her to the hospital and they would not even talk to him until he yelled at them. And they looked at him with disgust and he says, well, she needs help. She basically sprang, like, hurt her leg and she was basically calling out for help and I helped her. So, you want to let someone basically die? You're going to save their life. And, you know, they kind of just shot. So the old lady was even shot that no one would help her just because of him. And he actually stuck up for her, and let's just say she basically told her, basically, son, that t basically was married, told his wife, then, yeah, it, it kind of spread a little bit here and there, friends of the family and such. And that was kind of shocking. Um, some even people put in reports in, though, about basically the hospital and tried to basically do something about it. So, <laughs> yeah, that hospital just got legit um, checked out. And, uh, for some reason, most of their funding that they should have been getting for higher higher equipment has mysteriously been disappearing. So, Horizon kind of got that checked out, and let's just say, someone somewhere was basically taking that money, using it for themselves. So, they got arrested. I mean, after that, I mean, people kind of don't look at Norwich the same, but... At the same time, the marketplace does kind of, like, you know, charge him still a lot. But, yeah, enough about that. We need to get to this now. Since, basically, Sosuke, you know, has been doing this in Naruto's game, and a little more kindness to him from the villagers. Um, you know, some villagers did take, well, buy Naruto food and left that at his doorstep that was not rotting. Which was surprisingly. Yeah, for him it was. And, well, because, like I said, Naruto's been gaining some recognition, and no Sasuke has been wondering why no one praises him like they used to, look at him with respect and admiration, he's been kind of getting some, you know, anger, to the point where he, uh, he picked on the wrong family, and it was a family of ninjas. And, let's just say this. This is where technically Sasuke Uchiha was going to die. Yeah, I'm making the scene from, like, Rumor, basically, like, you know, what happened to, uh, Rumor when he was a human. It just makes sense. I mean, I could do a million different ways, but this one works out, makes me in my head, works out the best. It's quick, simple, and it just makes it somewhat similar. So, when Naruto just walk in through the village, Many people wave, well, some people wave hi to him, others just give him a, like, slight nod, which Naruto got used to this after a while, he just does exactly the same, and he basically, well, when a, basically mom says she can't, like, give their kids something, you know, Naruto just kind of, like, I don't want to say, sighs, basically hand her some money, be like, here, buy your kid something. She's like, uh, 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 uh you sure? He's like, yeah. And maybe the demon brat, but, you know, the kid wants it. Alright? He basically just, legit just puts it in her hand and just walks away, which she just looks at Naruto and thinks in her head, I... <sighs> Why would a demon do this? You kind of starting to realize that, everyone has been starting to realize, Naruto may not beat the demon fox. Legit, through his actions... Without being a ninja yet, he's already starting to. I'm already taking that all away. <laughs> uh, I love doing something like this sometimes. Okay, so, while, Uchi while Uchiha Sasuke is basically being followed by Sakura Haruno, Naruto legit doesn't see Sasuke as a rival no more. He basically just sees him as a Chiha. Like, that's all. Nothing else. Just a Chiha Sasuke. He literally sees nothing appealing about him. So, in a sense, yeah. Which every every girl besides Sox, you know, Sakura has kind of been liking Sasuke, but also keeping their distance away from him. They just don't understand why Sakura is so hung up on him. So what happens is very simple. Two ninjas have been following Sasuke around. These ninjas, well, these ninjas basically are. 
the reason, well, basically, the ninja is basically a part of the family that Sonosuke beat up a member of theirs and legit nearly killed him. So, they're going to take his life, well, basically take his life, and this poison, they used to combine multiple poisons together. A poison that basically, to make sure there's no cure for him, to basically where he'll die a slow, painful death. Well, actually, they were thinking about that, but they think just a quick death and then get out of there would be the best thing. And they basically saw him, and they don't care if there's going to be any witnesses. They're basically wearing full-on clothing that basically is, won't be not recognizable. And it's kind of going to be like something like a clan that has not been seen for a very long time came back for revenge on the Duchihas that they basically, you know, slaughtered family or something. I don't know. Just basically something that basically would make it look like a ghost from the Chia's past came back and tried to kill them. So, what happens is very simple. When they basically see, you know, Sasuke just walking along the streets above them, in the rooftop, they think of perfect chance. So, they have, like, they already have a kunai ready. They have two kunais ready, ready to attack Sasuke Uchiha. And Naruto basically notices this. If you're thinking, has Naruto made any contact with the Ninetales? No. No, he hasn't, but the Ninetales has been awake. You see, for some real reason, Naruto's, you know, chakra absorption of the QBs has been very slow. Really slow. To the point where, if Naruto doesn't open the gates, just open the gate up a little bit for the QB's chakra to come out, it would take forever for, you know, it would take up to Naruto till he was 18, till where it would be safe for Kurama to basically die with Naruto, but then come back years later. But so, Naruto is just walking around, enjoying the day. He sees the Uchiha and Sakura Harna, which he kind of, like, just sighs to be like, why do I even like her again? She's been really annoying more and more as I grew up. <sighs> Whatever. It's not like she's gonna, unless she really matters to me anymore. Okay. I mean, if I told my 12 year old self, he probably would have yelled at me saying she's the most beautiful girl in the world. <coughs> I think I almost threw it up there. <coughs> I mean, it's good I smarted up. I got way more smarter. I realized she'll never love me. To hang up on their chi ha. And he's not thinking about walking, basically. And he basically gets to Sasuke. He's like, Uchiha? He goes, dope. He goes, so, how's the day, how's the day going for you? Attacked another civilian? He goes, doesn't matter if they are civilian. They made fun of the Uchiha clan by making fun of me. So, of course I would. He just sighs. He goes like, Tem, you really are going to get yourself killed one day. And then Sakura's like, Shut up, Naruto Baka! He basically just looks at and goes like, How am I an idiot when my grades are basically becoming a little bit more better than yours? She's like, It doesn't matter, you're still an idiot! He just rolls his eyes. He goes, At least your mom's at least a decent person. She goes, Huh? It was, Yeah, I mean, technically speaking, I just had a conversation with her two days ago. Surprisingly? I mean, she needed help while you were falling into a chiha. Your dad was busy at the time, too, and I offered to help her carry the groceries. Wasn't it your help that day? She goes, uh, I was busy with Eno. He goes, nope, because we passed by Eno's shop and she was working. We even said hello to her. Well, she goes, uh, you, you, uh, uh. You know, she's just trying to think of something. He was like, face it, Sakura. Your obsession with this, well, to the Chiha, it's going to get away in your life and you'll probably get killed as a Konoichi. Just give up. Which that kind of shocks her a little bit, even Sasuke. He was like, dope. What happened to you? He was like, I grew up, I started to change my ways a little bit, but still be myself. Even though I know I won't, well, ever say that to her, I don't like her no more. So, in a sense, I was going to tell her the flat out truth I came to realize. She's going to die if she becomes a ninja. How old are we? We've been in the academy for like, I don't know, more than four years? Because of the curriculum, because of the civilian council? No offense to them. But seriously, just making sure where their kids, their civilians, could get in. How much did they die? What's the point in having them go into the, you know, you know, basically becoming a ninja? They don't like want them to basically learn the real, like the real world rules, basically. 
I'm just saying, Tem. That's all. Sakura has not even studied. She only studies. She has not trained. She has no skills in kunais. She doesn't even try to figure out any more than just the academy taijutsu. She doesn't even have any muscle mass. And she just diets all the time. I mean, it's just... Come on. I don't want to be mean to her. I'm the last person that wants to. I mean, a lot of the people in our classroom... Legit... Kind of even says that through the background when I'm just there. You know, at least it's been taking her class, well, all this seriousness after she came back from a trip with her dad. <sighs> she almost died, and well, she's taking everything seriously. So, yeah. In which the two people here in this are literally getting impatient. One that says, "You know what? Just heck, screw it. Let's just kill him already." Which he, no one just nods. So they throw their kunais. Basically, Naruto, seeing the glint from the sun that just came out of the clouds, sees the kunais coming at high speed towards Sasuke Uchiha. What happens next, he basically pulls Sasuke out of the way into Sakura and legit gets embedded through the side and the stomach of where the kunais are. In which where that kind of because that really shocked Sasuke. Sasuke seeing Naruto, and Naruto's just like, <laughs> Who knew I would save your butt, Tem? He just goes down and, well, he notices that his healing factor, that he's been poisoned before, but it's not healing. The, you know, the QB chakra, you know, he, her reason didn't tell him, but he found, he basically researched everything, and it just came to his mind. He's in Shinchuriki. Because he found a book by accident of them. And he kind of figures out that, you know, him basically always healing faster was the QB's help. And he does always think, well, the Nine Tails for that. But he also kind of hit the Nine Tails for his life being a wreck. But at the same time, he blames the Four for Kage. So what's happening is very simple. He basically takes out one of the kunais, and he basically just smells it. He can tell there's a lot of different poisons on it. That's why he always knows. Like, he always has a different sense of smell than everyone else besides the Inazuka. He just says, <laughs> poisons. Multiple. Mixed together made a whole new concoction. <laughs> Crap. It's hot. You know, he thinks so his head. It's really hot. Basically... He hears something in his head saying, Heat resistance granted. My heat resistance acquired. He goes, I've really been hit by a kunai. So stabbed. <laughs> Funny enough, I saved the Tem. Then he says, Stab resistance acquired. He goes, It hurts a lot too. Pain resistance nullification acquired. You know, just all that. He looking, basically, he gets everything where Rumuru got when he was dying. So, in a sense, so the whole entire thing though is while Naruto was dying, Kurama says, You gotta be kidding me. I'm dying with the kid? I'm an ancient being of wisdom and hatred and malice of the world, and yet I'm dying with a kid. Basically, he also hears wisdom. Does that require a sage? Because, uh, yes, a sage. I'm old. What do you expect, whoever you are? Basically, I'm just joking. Um, Naruto... Well, tell me, Naruto basically could say something like... I never... I forgot to mention this. He did get a message. He did find out about Jiraiya. And he took him to the Toads. And he said he really wanted to become a sage. You know. So he wanted to try doing that when he got older and becoming a great ninja. You know, well, tell me, after he becomes a Chunin. So he goes to himself. <laughs> Sorry, Kirby Sage. It looks like I can't really become a sage. And basically it says, Sage acquired. He goes, Maybe I could have been the greatest sage ever. Then it basically says, Great sage acquired. Basically he looks at, Basically Sasuke and Sakura. Sasuke is looking at Naruto in shock. And he basically just yells out, Someone get, get the ninjas here! Somebody take them to the hospital, basically! Which he's realizing. Sasuke's worried about me. Unless that dude Chiha wasn't so cold hearted. Which Sakura is like, you know, you know, kind of just frozen. She's like, Naruto, 
You dope! Don't die on me yet! He goes, hey, Tam, do me a favor. He goes, huh? What is it? Wherever it is I got you hanged up? <laughs> on your, whoever you are, your emo-ness. Just promise me one thing. He goes, what? Let it go. Protect this village for me. Protect everyone I care about. Protect our home. Become Okage. Promise me, Sasuke. Which Sasuke is looking at Naruto. You know, he sees his life is ending, but there's a fire in his eyes. He goes, I, I can't, my... He goes, who cares about your dumb dream about killing someone? Seriously, what if you would die? What then? You can't achieve anything else. What's the point going to someone, well, going to battle if you're just gonna die, Uchiha, Sasuke? So promise me, become Hokage for me. Which, legit, even telling everyone heard that Sasuke was the most shocked, everyone else is, and somewhere deep down in Sasuke's heart, he feels a unbridled sadness that's taken over. He does not know why, but all that hatred for Itachi is leaving. And he's basically not, he basically just says, I, I promise, Naruto, I promise, no, I vow it. I vow I will become Hokage for you, to make the dream possible, and I'll take on everything. Even take on that dumb believe it attitude that you'll never break. <laughs> I never go back on my word. It was in neither why now. So I promise to you, Naruto Uzumaki, I will become Hokage. Which Naruto just grins, that foxy grin that he knows. Oh, everyone knows, and he goes, Good. <laughs> because I don't think QB can save me this time. Which that opens up, that makes Sasuke's eyes widen. As Naruto is basically seeing that even though Sasuke and Naruto weren't really close, for some real reason Sasuke's eyes are formed into the Sharingan. He goes, huh, it looks like you activated your clan's dojutsu. Good for you. As basically he just dies in Sasuke's arm. As he goes, Naruto! He basically sees the life basically going away from Naruto. Um, so, yeah. In a sense, everyone was shocked that Naruto was a monkey died. Haruzen heard this. The guys who basically were trying to kill Sasuke just cursed at Naruto and didn't even care he died. So they let Sakura... Sakura basically just stand, like, was sitting there as Sasuke's punching the ground and he legit feels like something's hurting so badly he doesn't understand why. They, he knows he was not close to Naruto, but yet for some reason, this pain, it's not leaving him. So, in a sense, what happened to Kurama, he was saying, so this is the day I die. <laughs> well, this is a sad day indeed that Chiha again ruined my life. But, I don't know what's what's going to happen to me now. The Shimigami would take my soul, I guess. Basically, he was not hearing anything about this weird no head, I mean, weird noise in Naruto's head, but in a sense, he just basically hears the one thing I regret is I couldn't, like, take revenge on anyone. <sighs> Especially the Chihas. Darn you, Madara. So. He says I only had one last life. At least I could live and come back here one day. Yeah, that's basically just how Kurama when everything goes black. But the thing is, there's suddenly a ball, a red ball, and floating in midair. As basically, that disappears. Now, while Naruto and basically Kurama basically are falling, Naruto and Kurama's souls are becoming one. Since of the Shimigami seal. You see, they were bound to death. So, when Sanato dies, Kurama dies. So in a sense, yeah. Yeah, basically they're going. <laughs> they're going basically reincarnation. 
But the thing, but that's the thing with Krama, being you know there, there's some unique skills. You see, even though Rimuru had mimicry, it was. Um, that's what I'm. This is like I didn't understood that. Like it never really. A black snake, you know, was the first monster Rimuru took that will allow him to mimic. So in a sense, Kurama is basically, you know, is a kitsune, so we're kind of doing that thing. But basically, mimic. And changing Naruto's, you know, while Naruto and him basically kind of become one and becoming a slime, it basically takes on the form of a little fox. Little legit, for some reason, if you ever think, Okay, it's a slime that probably looks like a fox. I mean, full on four legs and such. I mean, eh. I mean, that's what I was thinking of. I literally saw, I looked up slime fox, and it was like a fox basically walking. I mean, basically had like legs and such. So I was like, huh. So I thought, nah, let's just make it, you know, kind of a little bit orange. I mean, reddish orange. Basically, the sense of Karama's fur and. I mean, tell me when he get a name, he basically evolve. But yeah, actually, let me just double check if I actually can see that. All right, yeah, I was right. So basically, in a sense, though, slime can take on any form. So yeah, this slime has ears, like a, you know, and basically tails. It has nine tails and can walk. So in a sense, it's a fox slime or slime fox. Yeah. So what happens with Naruto? It kind of is just like, huh. So. What's happened to me? I'm supposed to be dead, right? I was, I was hit by kunai's poison, deadly poison, able to work fast and quick, but also a painful death. <laughs> okay, it wasn't the villagers. It was, it could have been someone else. They were after Sasuke, not me. <sighs> okay, think, Naruto. Think. You became way more intelligent. Heck, you even learned some laws and build. And techniques just for such occasions. If you ever had to rebuild your place again after a mob comes over, destroy it. <sighs> Come on. Basically, everything is basically going black. He goes, Okay, I can't see yet. But I can't see. But I can feel. Maybe he kind of walks because I, I can walk. Huh. What's going on? As for some reason, when Naruto was basically walking towards a plant, the plan basically is getting, you know, it's over from Naruto's, you know, body, basically. He's like, huh? Uh, I'm absorbing something. Basically, all of a sudden, though, his arm, I mean, his little features kind of disappear, turn back into a normal slime. And he's like, huh? Boom! You know, just kind of, like, hits the ground, like, real quick, and the full-on plan's getting absorbed. He's like... Uh, okay, what's going on? So he kind of jiggles, like, moves around, and he's like, Okay, okay, uh, I am, I'm not human no more. What am I? And why the heck do I have a lot of knowledge? Huh, what's going on? Basically, he, he basically just kind of, like, you know, freaking out, but then all of a sudden he hears a voice called Great Sage, and he says, you are a slime. He was like, huh? What's a slime? He was a monster. Uh, um, can you explain? Which, to great stage, explains everything to him. Even about this skill he has called Predator and such. And he's like, uh, okay, so I'm a monster and I'm in another world that has no chakra but uses magic and magicules? Uh, can you explain about magicules? And they say, they say it's the lifeline of everything, and it's like, oh, but what about my chakra? Can I ever still use it? It was, chakra is sealed for now. Wait, what? What do you mean chakra is sealed for now? Until you get a human body, or the form of a body, you will not be able to use chakra. Because, uh, uh, wait, if I'm a slime, how am I able to use chakra? It was... Because of the entity inside of you, we had, well, while you're being reincarnated, it merged with you. So in a sense, you basically become a being of pure chakra, but for right now, you won't technically have a slime until you get a human body. He goes, so wait, I'll be a slime with chakra? That sounds stupid. 
which basically Greg says just kind of like just sighs and he goes like, uh, huh? Because believe it or not, I do not understand either. You somehow denied the impossible. Because <laughs> I was always told I'm the number one unpredictable get well ninja, well soon to be, which basically Greg says sighs again. He goes, anyways, can you tell me about these herbs? Basically, I did forget the name of the herb, so hipote herbs. It's like, huh. So, if I use predator to analyze them, could I, you know, make some type of medicine with it? She goes, yes, health potions. He goes, huh? Health potions. D what do they do? She basically says, oh, they basically can heal you from any injuries, basically. But not, but not, well, any injuries that would basically be like a burn or a scar. If it's, well, telling you, even making that scar, basically, that's reopened to become nothing more than a, just your skin again. He was like, huh. Interesting. And there's like a whole lot of these herbs here. So, he li so Naruto literally does what Rumoru does. He basically just starts eating all the herbs, then the minerals, or the ores, and then until so he goes to water, and then basically gets, well, water propulsion, and shoots himself basically out of the water, and hits Vidora's cage, well, prison. And he goes, ow, huh, I got a dent. And then basically all of a sudden his regeneration kicks in. He was like, really fast though. He basically he's like, huh, how, how, did it, how did it fix so well? He goes, due to the, well, the QB, as it says, the title, regeneration abilities of what you had already, it was being transferred to this, well, where you were slime. So in a sense, you have twice the normal regener, well, Twice as fast regeneration than a normal slime. You basically can only be killed by an AoE attack, or well, attack that has to, well, be a, a, well, how should I say this right? He goes, an attack that basically destroys all my slime particles, right? Which basically, Grace Age just says, correct. He goes, huh, why in the heck did I get so smart about this? She goes, due to also the QB, you were, his, uh, I gain all his knowledge. I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, wait, that means my intelligence increased. Oh man, this is going to be hard to get used to. I'm used to being an idiot. So basically, all of a sudden, here's a voice goes like, Hello, I've been trying to talk to you for quite a while now. He was like, uh, huh? Who's saying that? He was like, can you not see me? He was uh... Fox ears, ta you know, basically tails and paws come out, and he goes, you know, kind of just like, you know, moving slowly, even touching the ground every so like often, like, well, touching it until he hits something. He was like, "Huh? What's this?" He was like, "Hmm." So you cannot see me. He goes, "Uh, nope. I cannot." Basically, I'm just gonna say this. Imagine like legit, even though like slime form, just has tails and you know, ears and. uh, Feet, it's not like a full on, like, it just kind of looks like a little fox. Basically. Because I, I'm a slime. <laughs> it's a complicated thing right now for me. I'm still trying to get used to it. He goes, hmm, I see. Well, I can help you with that. He goes, wait, really? How? He goes, well, first off, you have to, well, promise me two things. He goes, okay, one. You cannot be afraid of me when you see this. And two... Uh, can you just please talk to me? He's like, uh... Okay, that seems like a reasonable amount I can do. Why not? So, tell me what I have to do. He goes, first, you have to set the magic tools in the air. And it's called magic sense. He goes, okay. So, basically, he, Naruto f f focuses very hard, basically, on trying to sense magic. In which, it was, he really didn't focus that hard, because he started sensing the magic tools already, and all of a sudden it just opens up. You know, basically he's able to see everything. He was like, holy cow, I can see. So he kind of just runs over to where water is, and then when he looks, he was like, I'm definitely a slime, but I somehow became a fox. Basically transformed back, transformed back into a fox slime. He was like, huh, weird transformation. Basically, Grey Sage says, Due to the basically merging of the soul with the QB, this was given a form to you. Seriously, you denied the impossible. He's like, uh, <laughs> again, sorry? 
So he goes, he basically turns around and goes, Now then, let me talk to you, to, to, what the heck are you? Which, you know, he basically is dragging us in, well, basically, you know, it's fedora anyway, but this dragon is standing in the prison. He was like, hmm, you never seen a dragon before? He was like, no, what the heck is that even a dragon? There's only a myth and legends. Which he goes, hmm. So, you don't know what dragons are. Never seen one. He goes, nope. Never had. And he just kind of walks over and you know, just nonchalantly just sits down on his paws. Oh, basically, you know, paw, basically back legs, I mean. And just like, you know, looking at the, well, the door, he goes, tell me, what was the last thing you remember? He goes, well, being killed, then all of a sudden, this weird feeling, and then boom, I'm here. Well, I mean, I woke up in a, this weird cave system, and then it took me some time to get used to everything. And then, you know, I'm here now. He goes, I see. So you were reincarnated. Reincarnated? Yes. This is very unusual. Usually people get summoned here. He goes, wait, seriously? He goes, yes. Like what happened to me? He goes, uh, well, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. He goes, nonsense. It was a great battle. So he basically, the door tells him, I mean, well, Naruto everything. What happened? And he was like, so you decided to destroy a town by accident. You destroyed a town by accident. And even in prison. He goes, yes. He goes, mm-hmm. Likely story. He goes, oh, you are not believe me? He was like, no, no, it's not that I just don't believe you. It just seems a little far-fetched. <laughs> but anyways, so, Beldora. I'm basically guessing you want to get out of here. He goes, yes. Very much so. It's been 300 years since I've been out of in the world. He was like, I see. Well... Let me see if I can use the skill I have called Predator. So he goes over here and you know, he tries to use Predator and nothing happens. He goes, hold up. Okay, so, Bodor just looks at basically Naruto. He was like, hmm, what did you find out? He was, well, technically I can't really as, well, basically use it that much, but I mean, I think I have an idea. But let me just talk to, uh, Talk to Great Sage. He's like, hmm, a skill I have. He goes, ah, I see. So basically, Great Sage comes up the exact same thing with Naruto. You know, like with Rumoru, basically. He was like, okay, so here's the thing. This may sound weird, but hear me out. He was like, I will. He goes, okay, first off, though, um, you want to be friends? He goes, what? Me be friends with a slime? Fox slime. <clears throat> a fox slime? He goes, yeah, I mean, you've been here for 300 years by yourself, alone. Unless you want me to leave and I help you out. <laughs> Which, basically, but I was like, no, 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 I, I wasn't going to refuse. I was going to say, I do not mind. I mean, I could use friends. He goes, okay. <laughs> he's saying to himself, at least he's way more reasonable than the villagers. Uh, way back when, until recently. He was, <clears throat> Anyways, I think this is a great idea. But wait, I never, I don't even know the idea. He was like, yeah, I'm kind of rushing the gun, huh? He's like, my apologies. He goes, all right, so, do you trust me? He goes like, yes. All right, then, I have to eat you, I have to eat you and put you in my stomach. Which, dot, 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 dot. He was like, let me to explain. So he kind of just says this. My stomach technically is like a storage, you can see, basically, if I basically put you there and try to analyze, well, the infinite... Well, prison, unlimited prison, I mean, we basically then can find a way how to free you. Heck, you can even try to even help out and try to break free with it. But she goes, but I can't. This locks all my skills. He goes, I see. It's only if I had the, I guess what you would call the data of it, right, Grace Sage? Which Grace Sage says, correct. I could definitely use this to help, but at the same time, I, well, I don't know how to. Hmm. Well, I mean, tell me that's why I'm, that's why the suggestion of going to my stomach would help, because that way then you can basically do a pow. Well, you can use your power while in it, and then basically we then can try to get you out with my with my help. But she goes, "That's a great idea." I mean, I've been here for three hundred years, so why not? But he goes, huh, "Seriously?" He goes, "Yes, I have full faith in you." 
he was like, uh, alright then, <laughs> let's get this thing started. Which was, wait a minute. Did you have a name in your previous life? He goes, yeah. But, I mean, if you, if, I mean, I kind of don't need to use the name now then, huh? He goes, hmm. Oh, then allow me to grant you a name. Name for monsters, basically, are a symbol of power. And based with my name, you have great protection. Well, have protection from anyone. Because I see. So, um, how does this work? He goes, well, first off, you can give me a name, then I will basically use that and call you that name. He goes, okay, so your name is Vadora. So, hmm, it's the Vadora the Storm Dragon. Storm... I mean, there's another hurricanes, no. Typhoon? No. Uh, Tempest. And he's fine in his head. He goes, How about this? Tempest. He goes, Hmm. Which he goes, Wait, so Dora goes, like, That's the name you chose for me? Which Naruto kind of backs away. He was like, eh, You don't like He goes, No, it's perfect. For today on, I am Vidora Tempest. I don't know why. I'm just really kind of in the mood just to, you know, get into it, so. You know, which not to say, heh, alright then, what was my name? He goes, hmm. What was your previous name? Uh, Naruto Uzumaki. He goes, really? He goes, yeah, it's kind of weird, I know. He goes, hmm. Well then, since you do not want that name, how about this? Rimuru. Rimuru Tempest. He goes, I like it. And then all of a sudden, you know, he kind of would glow and basically become, like, go into a weird shape and then go back. He goes, huh, that felt weird. Felt like something basically came apart of my soul. Which, well, basically, Veldor says, yes, that's supposed to happen. Now then, I'm ready. He goes, well then, see you on the other side. Well, Vodora. He goes, you too, we'll meet again one day, Rimuru. As he goes, Predator. Basically, the exact same thing seems to happen. Now, what happens is very simple. He goes through the whole entire cave, everything happens in canon, but the only difference is though, Naruto basically going through the memories, he goes, okay, so I know a lot of fire jutsus, I know some wind jutsus, some maybe water sub jutsus, and earth jutsus, and, well, lightning. Lightning is not my strong suit, but still. Pretty impressive knowledge from the QB's memories. Uh, or should I say Karama. And the redo re, and then basically the Sage of Six Pass created him and all the other Bijus. Huh. <sighs> that just sucks. I mean it really does suck. I took away the QB's life. I mean Karama's life away from him. But I'm hoping since he's a he came his knowledge and everything became a part of me. I can st still technically use that knowledge to move forward. Even if, though, I may slightly hate humanity now a little. Uh, I really... How can anyone do most of the stuff that they did in the past? It doesn't make no sense. Uh, humans will be humans, though. I mean, I kind of got used to becoming a monster. So, while that was happening, though, also... I mean, Naruto did meet the Black Snake, you know, just like, I think that's what it was called. And, uh, he killed it, he got, basically, poison breath and sense heat, sor yeah, source, basically. He met the snake, he does kill it like Rimuru, but in a sense, instead of, like, you know, becoming like a mist, all of a sudden, it's like, for Mimic, it's like, legit just a smoke transformation, but... A little bit of black movement in it. it kind of, I just decided to combine it right now. Basically. And yeah. So exact same thing. He basically kills all the monsters that somewhere away. He even gets a speech. And stuff. But it's also. He's kind of figuring out that. Well. He technically may be able to use paws for certain things. So. He knows he can't use chakra. But he does a little. He tries to make the cross with his little paws that are like slime base, and he basically, you know, just like, hmm, this seems reasonable. I mean, this is how the Kage Bunch of No Jutsu is, right? He goes look for his mother. Goes, yeah, <laughs> whoever that redhead woman, I mean, that redhead lady is, she really liked to use this Jutsu a lot. 
kind of glad. And who was a man that basically always used a kunai? Weird prawn, though. Eh, you gotta recreate it and try to do it when I get an actual body. <laughs> oh, man, that will be really fun. Well, meanwhile, basically, though, because Naruto Seal, you know, his death, everything went blank, Kushin and Minato's slight tro chakra came with Naruto, I would say. Um, give me a minute, guys. Okay, so like I was saying, though, he gives all oh, exactly the same skills, but he takes down mo the monsters a different way. So, because of his technically ninja training, um, that he was takes like Ganon, even, and he died at like 15, you know, he basically utilized the monsters, well, attacks different ways. So, right when telling he does find his way out, he does basically like, huh, hey door. I wonder if I can totally use my, well, sticky thread to, uh, pull it open. As just then, you know, the door starts opening, he's like, oh, crud, someone's coming. He basically goes and hides in the same spot, and this is the first time he meets humans. So, what happens is, though, he kind of, um, says the same thing as Rumor, how can he understand them? As, basically, with magic, well, with magic and, you know, basically, and using also Great Sage, along with some other stuff, that I... Try to uh, try to remember, but it's like some small details. So basically, just know this: he's basically using the magical the magic cues to basically like so learn how. I mean, basically hear people talk. All right, all right, okay. So after he gets that understanding, he's like, okay, gotcha. So yeah, he then well, he does this really simple. He basically you know leaves, and the uh, mage that was a girl basically like, huh? I thought I sent something. But it's not there. As they basically were assigned to go see if a door. The one's in canon. So, in a sense, they uh, do leave. We'll leave into the cave more. Naruto left. Well, I should say room room now. As while he's going through, he technically does ask the sage, like, um, Great Sage, is there any way to tell about a monster's strength? He goes, yes, an aura. Which you are technically emitting right now. He goes, huh? You basically are emitting a strong aura due to Vador's presence. Uh, is there any way for me to, you know, stop it? He goes, absorb it back in. But it's technically too late for it right now. He goes, uh, well, you, as in, basically, he sees these little creatures. He goes, like, uh, Great Sage, what are those? He goes, those are goblins. He goes, ah, oh, so these are goblins. Um, hmm, how can I speak? Basically using my thoughts. And so he kind of just thinks, like, very calmly. He's like, hello there. I am a slime that's not no trouble towards you. In which they, like, you know, see him. And they're like, uh, strong one. You mean you're not going to hurt us? He goes, uh, me? She goes, yes, you must be chesting. He goes like, um, no. How am I? Oh, yeah, Aura. <laughs> um, yes, I am strong, but I'm still just a slime. But can we please go to your village? He goes, yes. So basically, they take him to, the goblins take them to the village. So the elder goblin is just like, strong one, we do need your help with something. He was like, uh, seriously? He goes, yes. You see, he kind of swings without, Vador without Vidora there. There's no one there to protect them and such. He was like, huh, I see. And he goes, crud, without Vidora here, I did kind of, you know, mess up a lot of things for them. Uh, I have to take responsibility for this, though. He goes, <clears throat> anyways. Let me just do something real quick. He absorbs all the aura. He was like, ha. Ah. So. You need my help? She goes, yes. He goes, hmm. Tenley, a ninja never takes anything without, you know, compensation. Being paid. But, they don't have much. And, I can't really ask them since I'm technically not a ninja. But. Ah, they need my help. Okay. He goes, alright, what will you give me in return? He goes, Basically, they kind of think for a few minutes. He goes like, "Our undying loyalty." As they bow to Rimuru, he goes, "All right, then that'll work. I'll help you out." He goes, uh, "Seriously, my lord?" He goes, "Uh, he said, my lord." He was like, "Yes, I'll help you." And besides, I never go back on my promise. Which technically, you know, the goblin chief and the son basically smile as, you know, they hear a howl and such. Everyone kind of freaking out, and he goes like, "Calm yourself, everyone." Basically, like, how? We're going to die. Maybe we should run away. Where are we going to go, basically? As then Naruto goes, calm down, calm down. I'm here to help. 
And now, well, first off, gather everyone. He was basically they do. He's like, hmm, only men and well, basically, how many wars do we? Well, how many people do you have to fight? He goes all together, only around sixty. He goes, I see. Can you take me to your wounded? So, when Naruto basically, you know, sees them, uh, seeing the goblins hurt, he was like, huh. I mean, it's worse than I thought, but I can help them. Well, time to gobble them up, basically. As he goes, my lord, will you... And basically the first goblin gets healed, and the rest. He goes, amazing. You are truly amazing, my lord. And basically the goblins bow to him. He's like, uh, can you not bow to me? I'm also just... Well, call me Rimuru. Rimuru. That's, my name is Rimuru Tempest. He was like, ah, oh, then lord Rimuru. He was like, uh, just drop the lord part. He was like... We can't. We have. We are your servants, so we are loyal to you. We must address you that way. He's like, uh, but I'm not into formalities. But uh, he was, which Norge just says, okay, but never mind. So now we need to build something. I need to tell everyone. So basically, when they get back into like, he gets back with the ones that were just healed. He says, we need to build a fence and a few traps. Which they're like, huh? He goes, well, and he just sighs again. He's like, all right. Let's do this, though, and I'll explain everything. So, he explains about the traps and such. Basically, some pit traps with some wooden spikes every, you know, there and such. Basically, only leaving one place to go to Rimuru. You know, only one path to travel. So, he even puts on some steel thread, and he even has some sticky wire, and basically, he tells them to, you know, if you know how to shoot a you know, bow, an arrow, then you, you'll be an archer. So, when the dire wolves basically come back... Well, when the Wolves come there and try to kill the goblins that night, it goes similar to canon, but Naruto... I mean, they tend to get hit by the thread. Um, well, some of them even fell into the pet traps, which he was like, How? How could goblins even have this? And then this, basically he just sees this, the red slime that suddenly grab, you know, has basically nine tails, ears, and paws. Just kind of just laying there and be like, <laughs> What? Can't figure out simple traps? Are you dogs really that stupid? Which the boss, direwolf, like, You insult us, you slime! How do you even have the form of... He goes, A fox? Hmm. You'll never know. Besides, it's not like you ever will find out. How about you come fight me, you little mutt? He goes, Huh? Why am I acting like this? Wait. Karama's memories, he always acted this way towards something lower than him. Am I really going to get his attitude? He goes, some personality may be gained, Grace said. He's like, great. Also, am I lazy? He goes, no. You're too much th energetic. Counsel out Karama's laziness. He goes, good to know. So, the dire wolf basically starts running towards Naruto. You know, trying to, you know, basically cut through the steel wires when he jumps. Oh my god, I hate that. I don't know why my phone's doing that. I just have it leaning towards me. Why not lean, lean backwards toward away while I'm holding it? <sighs> Whatever. So, I mean, he did also get Water Blade. Like, he legit got everything. I did say. So, yeah. Anyways. When, well, the leader Dire Wolf did technically try to, you know, jump onto Naruto to kill him, he gets in a sticky threat. He goes, you, you coward! He goes, sorry. But a ninja legit doesn't play fair. He goes, a ninja? You are a slime! He goes, well, you never know. Maybe I can learn a thing or two as a well, slime. And then he goes, water blade! And he basically he does exactly the same thing with, like Rumor does. He cuts out the head. And, well, then he eats the, basically, body and already, you know, transforms into, he goes like, submit to me, or die. Or you can also flee. It is your choice, dire wolves. And he was menace. On them, he just scream at them, try to basically get them to leave. But then they say, "We submit to you." So like, uh, it's like anticlimactic, don't you think? <sighs> Whatever. So basically, he transformed back into a slime box form. He was like, and they asked, "Did we win?" He was like, "Yep, it's all okay." Basically, and they basically start cheering. Now, what will happen is very simple. So they all have basically pairs and such. Naruto goes like, "Okay, so." Everyone has pairs. Hmm. Basically, everyone's just talking and such, and then, you know, after they calm down, he goes, Take you guys five minutes. Uh, that's not really good. 
which, uh, what do you mean? It's like, oh, uh, well, technically five minutes to basically waste on time means five minutes of not me explaining stuff where if we technically move faster. I mean, it's okay to talk, just when we're technically all gathered. Can you guys just quiet down a little bit? In which they do not. He goes, thanks. Alright, then, I want to technically lay out some ground rules, okay? Which they just look at me, he was like, well, certainly that could be later. I have to think of them first, so I'm going to lay out some ground r rules beforehand, and I want each and one, every one of you to, to pair up. They're like, pair up? Because, uh, work together, basically. You know, a dire wolf works with a goblin, and a goblin works with a dire wolf. Be partners. Team. And, well, hmm. Um, uh, does any of you guys have a name? Which, technically, they, the Elder Goblin explains everything like he did in canon to Rimuru. I mean, to basically, um, Rimuru's, you know, basically, to, yeah, to Rimuru, not Naruto. I would prefer when they kind of explain something to him, you know, like, you know, basically this Elder Goblin explaining to Naruto about this. So, yeah. So, alright. So, basically, though, when she goes, I see. So, how about I just give you guys a name? But they're like, wait, really? Was, yeah, I mean, it's not going to really be that much of a problem. But then, unlike basically with Rimuru from the anime, he goes, uh, Grey Sage? He goes, yes. How much magic cools would I lose if I basically named them all in one day? She goes, well, if we basically are also count how much magic you had when you basically, well, I mean, chopper what you had was a lot. A lot more than basically anyone. So you did gain some magic cools. It's almost similar to that when you were only about 9 or 13. He was like, okay... And then, with the added naming to basically Rimuru Tempest from Vidora, he came to love it more. He was like, okay. And anything else? He goes, no. I mean, tell me that's it. So you won't, won't have enough to name them all, but that's because of, well, you can figure that one out. He goes, uh, uh, thank you. Well, <laughs> he basically, Grace Sage basically signs off, basically. He's like, <clears throat> alright, then. So he basically gets to the elder. He would say, I mean, technically they even talk about the son, so he goes, alright, so what was your son? He goes, Rigor. He goes, yeah. So he goes, alright then, I'll name you Rigard. And he goes, he starts crying, happy tears. And then he basically is to the second son. He goes, alright, I'll name you Rigor after your brother. And he goes, like, thank you. Basically, yeah. That, that same scene happens. He keeps, he gets to the next goblin, he names his Gota. Um, I did not write down all the names. Oh, Gobta, I mean. Gobta, and then basically he looks at another female goblin, and he basically, hmm. Haru? No, no, no. Huh. I always did tell him, like the name Hanata. How about that? Hanata. Is it just as one person that's gonna remind him of Hanata? Even though we never really see her again, kind of that much. I mean, but still. So yeah. Anyways, she basically smiles and such, and he goes through all the goblins. He names all the goblins, and then basically he names the well, basically the dire wolf leader, well, my son, Ranga, basically, and then he goes to sleep for three week for three days. <laughs> so. Basically, what happens next is very simple. After though he wakes up, basically, I want to say everything from the canon, what happened. You know, basically him seeing the different people, I mean, the different goblins, well, hobgoblins changed, and gobnets basically changed, you know, the women goblins changed to gobnets, goblets. Similarly, so just with the female ones and hobgoblins. And basically, he even basically names... Um, the whole, like, basically, the, like, Rigard, to basically be Elder Goblin. So, yeah. Or, well, Goblin Lord. So, he basically thanks him. He doesn't want to, you know, always have to worry about everyone. So, he has to have a second command with that. But he just says, no, then, though. How about this? I basically give you guys some rules. First off, do not attack or kill humans. Only though in self-defense, which one, uh, which Gobert, wait, 
Wait, uh, sorry. I always have to look at the names. Too many things. Yeah. God, Garder, yeah. I know I said the names right. Gitter? Yeah, whatever. Rigger, I mean. There we go. I was missing the R. Rigger. Basically, it says, Why, sir? Which, the father, Rigger, basically, he says, Do not, basically, do not, basically, ask questions from Lord Rimmel. You know, Lord Rimmel, basically, say, Rigger, it's fine. It's good to ask questions. He goes, Simple. I really know human, like humans are basically, we shouldn't attack them because they live in bigger places. And besides, we don't really know, I don't really know much about humans that much as I entirely stayed away from them. But, here's the thing. I only want you guys to basically defend yourself if, well, they attack. Don't kill if necessary, but if you have to do so, it'll be fine. I mean, technically speaking... It's only basically the law of the wild, right? Which they kind of just look at him and nod. He was like, but still, try not to kill anyone if you can. If so, run at all costs. Got it? They do. He goes, second, don't belittle others or look down on you know the other races. And basically, um, I'm trying to think of the third one. Wait, I'm trying to think of the third one, what it was. Uh, basically, it was something about... Um, Get along with each other. Yeah, it was also get along with each other, which I think they technically went, like, Gopta would ask why basically we shouldn't let down anyone. He goes, because just because you gain more power doesn't mean you'll be powerful forever. Someone else can be way more powerful than you, and they'll just treat you exactly the same way. Understand? And which technically they nod. So, it was good. Now, let me assign you some jobs. So each one was getting the exact same job as they were in canon, as Ben is just like... They basically sees the house and he goes like, "Heh, not very big on construction, huh?" Which they're like, <clears throat> "We're uh, we're not very good at it or making clothes." Rigard said, goes, "That's understandable. Don't worry." As the house falls, he goes, "Ha! Huh, is there anywhere else we can basically hire someone to do this?" Because hmm, we do have a trade. We used to trade with people before, like um, in the dwarf kingdom. It was like, wait, dwarves? Isn't that kind of a um, Small people that basically use hammers and basically are always in a forge. It was yes. It was huh. That sounds cool. So, I mean, we definitely can ask them to build some, help us build some stuff. And as in this uh little, I mean, this pink-haired goblin girl just smiling, you know, basically Hanata, is just like there. He was like, and basically help with the clothing. He goes seriously. If, if, if Herbie Sage was here, he would basically be writing his book by now. He'd probably keep him writing about three different novels. <laughs> uh, how is he going to feel, though, when I when he finds out I'm dead? Uh, even, you know, Gramp and Ma Toad. Oh, anyway, Pa and Ma Toad. They really want me to become a sage. Uh, can't worry about the past. Well, can't worry about it now. I'm here. So. Alright, I'll basically head out on, you know, to go to the kingdom. Alright? I'll just need a little team. Alright then, Lord Rimuru. So, Nor basically, Naruto gets a little team together and they go off like, like he can. Meanwhile, though, in, basically, back in his old world, Sasuke has changed. It has not been long. It's only been, like, a day since Naruto's death and Nor basically Sasuke has changed. He's been kind of opening it up more to his classmates and friends. Well, classmates. So he's still he's not the same with Sakura. Sakura has mentally changed and she's focusing on training now. Everyone took it hard, especially Hanata. Haruzen took it the well, even took it the most harder of it. He basically kept on apologizing to Minato and Kushina that he failed. They but he basically, while he's, while he does grieve, he grieves in his head. He's basically just been searching for these people that been, that basically that took Naruto's life, and technically he they found it, they found them because Sasuke was attacked again, with the Saxon kunais, in which, yeah, they were executed, but shot the family. And when they found out about the poison, they couldn't even save Naruto, 
This poison was the same thing as Orochimaru's blade. Somehow they cr recreated it. They didn't know how. No one knows how though, but it said to even kill a Jinchuriki. Any Jinchuriki. The Nightingales. Basically, especially since the seal wasn't really loosening around, no, around the Ninetales at all. Chakra. So there was, Naruto would have died. Which, yeah, Hiruzen was even more upset by that. Now. Everyone took this hard. Some of the villagers were partying until, I mean, Haruzen basically told out his name was Naruto Uzumagi Namikaze, the fourth, you know, son, basically. And he kind of explains that if he could not ask his own child, I mean, if he could not ask himself to sacrifice his own child, how could he not sacrifice anyone else's child, basically? In which they all understood now. Which, even, some people don't care. They still party. You know, party and such. But a lot of the villagers grieve for Naruto. Hanata is basically most of said she became cold. Not to her friends, but she became cold to basically most of the council. In an instant. Like, if they ever bad off Naruto, she did not care. She struck them. She basically, you know, closed off all their tenkitsus. Basically almost let them die. Which that kind of shocked all the other Hugas. Kakashi... Kakashi, like, just grieved a whole lot more, like, was grieving, wor basically became worse now. So, yeah. But, when Jirai was summoned to Mount, ba Mount Maboku, he goes, why am I here? Alright, I heard my godson is dead. I don't want to talk to you guys for the day. Which, it was Jirai, boy. We know. But the prophecy has changed. He goes, what? What do you mean? Come. Elder Toe, the Elder Toe wants you. Pa Toe says. Basically, he gets there. He goes like, Elder, what do you, what is it? He goes, Jiraiya, the boy of prophecy, or the child of prophecy still lives. He goes, huh? How? Basically, a child born of two ninjas on the night of a, of a great beast attack has died. But yet, he will return one day. Return stronger than anything like we've seen before. Becoming a force of nature. Even stronger than the nine tails. Or any tail beast. This world will not be prepared. But he will be prepared for it. For he will be his salvation. Which. He goes. But how? He goes. I do not know anything else. But I see him. Crimson red hair. Eyes of red. Whisker marks. Holding a Rasengan in his hand. Like young Minato. <laughs> Ready to strike the forces of evil. Basically, yeah, that's what the to that's what the Elder Toad was seeing. And he basically, he basically can hear what Nar well, what this person saying. A.K.A. Naruto. He goes, I won't let you destroy this world. Even though I'm not a part of it no more. This still once was my home. I have everyone I care about still here, and I will not let them die! Madara Uchiha! Yeah, sorry, I got too into it. <laughs> Which, Elder, the Elder Toad kind of just like, kind of just sit, grins in his head and goes like, Even when you die, you still live. The unpredictableness, even fate could not predict. <laughs> what a strange boy you are, Naruto Uzumaki Namakase. What a strange boy indeed. So. Basically, Haruzen hearing this, he goes, Can I have to tell Haruzen? Naruto somehow is still alive. Which, which the elder Toe says, Jiraiya. He goes, What? You gonna tell me I can't? He goes, No. Tell him. But you cannot try to find him. If you do, he may be too weak to even be coming back here. Uh, Fine. I'll just tell him you told me he's somehow alive still. Now, reverse summon me back where I was. In which, they do. So, Jiraiya basically books it back to the ho back to the village. He literally just booked it. Using all the chakra he can, even taking a soldier pill. Just so he have more than enough chakra to legit get back to Konoha. So, let's just say, a day in the whole entire, you know, other world where Naruto is. 
it's like two days here, two days in the actual village. Well, Naruto's old, basically village. So yeah, Naruto's basically new life world's time is, you know, become a knight. But not basically, it's been two days there. So basically, when Jiraiya comes back, he goes, ah, Harusen. He goes, Jiraiya, how is it? How are you? He goes. He basically he sees Jiraiya. He basically has hope in his eyes, hope that he's never seen so bright before. He goes, Jiraiya, what is it? He goes, Naruto. He's still alive, which that shocks him. You know, shocked him. Even the Anbu, who's how he was, I, I cannot say. He still will try to go search for him, but just know this: the Elder Toad said he'll be back one day. Probably not back when you can see him, but he will be back one day. He'll be stronger than ever. Which Haruzen's about to wants to say something, but for some reason, he gets a. I want to say Kami grants him a gift for a brief moment to see the boy, or should I say the man that Naruto will become. Basically, it looks like a little blob of creature all of a sudden transforms into it, you know, and looks back. He goes, hey, yeah, Gigi, it's been a long time, hasn't it? A lot of stuff has changed. <laughs> and basically, he sees a red-haired man with red eyes looking at him. Whisker remarks still there. Teeth though basically the same. Claws too though, but he knows this is Naruto because of his kind, because of the kindness in his eyes. He goes, Naruto, which basically Jiraiya goes, Haruzen, Sensei, you okay? He goes, uh, yes, I'm fine. <sighs> fine, but I will not try to search for him. Besides, if he is somewhere else, not of this world, correct? He does not. He goes, then we cannot find him. It would be impossible to even go to a different dimension, even with seals. <sighs> the council has been cheering. Well, Donzo has been mad, said we should get an urgent jerky. We are weak. Which, he goes, I'll stay in the village. He goes, huh? I, when I came here, I saw, I heard rumors about the Uchiha's changed. He goes, he took the, he took the death way more hard than anyone ever thought. He had to pay his eyes, and yet he has not been using them. He's only been getting his body stronger and faster. He's been opening up more, and surprisingly, became way more friendly to people. He's he took a vow to never break his promise to Naruto. He honor him by basically being like him in some way, even never breaking his promises, making that his ninjo, his ninja way. He told me. And then basically I did ask him, did you unlock your Sharingan? He goes, it's just a tool, nothing more. It may be the pride of the Uchiha clan, but I would never use it. Only if I needed them in my dire need. Or in battle, nothing more. He just leaves. He goes, hmm. Did he ask Akashi to look at him? He goes, yeah. He even said about learning some jutsus with the Sharingan. He goes, he said, no, only show me the hand signs, let me learn on my own. I need to put in the hard work. In which Jiraiya was kind of shocked. So, he says, so he's willing to put in the hard work? Which he nods. He goes, I see. So it looks like he learns there's no shortcuts in getting stronger. Which Jiraiya does nod. He goes, even now, Naruto is still here with us. <laughs> Surprisingly. In which Jiraiya does not to that. And this is where I'm going to leave it off, everyone. Hope you guys like it. I try to think of a good way. I'm probably going to watch that some more episodes later. But I'm going to need to go. So, I hope you guys have a nice day, night, wherever you are, and bye.